So go ahead and do that. And we're going to call that run library system. And all this is going to have is the main method. This is all it's going to have, nothing else. So public, static. Because remember, whenever we're compiling, whenever we're running a, a Java application, the compiler is going to look for the main method. So public static void main string args. And all we're going to do here is create an instance of our library system. So new library system. And we need to import this. Now if we run our uh, program, one second here I am getting a uh, a null pointer exception. Should I show this? You know, I might as well show you guys uh, me debugging. So this is called the stack. And usually what you do is you go from bottom to the top. So let's click this. Okay, it's going clicking this takes us to the run library system, which is this. Then let's go to uh, library system line number 10. Okay? So it's happening inside our library interface, line 18. So it's happening inside our add book panel, add book panel line 30. It's happening inside the method add widgets, which is add book panel line 79 and it's giving a null pointer exception. Oh man, I wasn't expecting this. Alright, let's check out why it's giving us a null pointer exception. Did we instantiate our button browse? Did we instantiate our buttons? Don't tell me we did not instantiate our buttons. Oh, that's why we did not instantiate our buttons. Oh, man. Damn it. I thought I was done. Okay, guys. What I want you to do right now is go to your adbook panel.java because we forgot, I mean, I forgot, and I hope you caught that. I hope you caught it when I was uh, on my previous videos that I forgot it. But in case you didn't catch it, let's add it right now. Our we need to instantialize, instantiate our buttons. So button browse equals new J button. The text is just gonna be browse. This text corresponds to this. So you put that there, browse, this text is gonna appear instantiate our button add file add file to book um, you know I'm just gonna copy and paste this three times because I'm lazy all right, we need one for uh, add book. We need one for save. And one for save and quit. Change the text. Add book to library. Save, save, and quit. Now, if we want our application, our program, please show me. There we go. 
and it looks really rough right now it is looking like uh, it's looking like a uh, well I'm about to come up with a bad <laughs> with a bad analogy with a bad uh, simile and anyways it's looking bad now we're gonna fix it and the first thing we're gonna fix is we're gonna align all of this we're gonna make this we're gonna add some spaces in between here and align these J text fields so the end result the end result is this so we want it to be like this we need to add spaces in between and the naive way of doing that and I mean the way I do that is just adding adding some spaces to our J label so that if I add spaces here it's going to push it's going to push this J text field to the right so I added some spaces let me show you the, the effect of that compile and save save and compile and then compile it run it and as you can see it added some space space over there and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're just gonna align it add the appropriate amount of spaces alright so uh, maybe add one two three four uh, shoot um, you know what this is gonna take way too long I want you guys to uh, do this yourself and um, try to uh, put certain number number of spaces such that everything is gonna be aligned and I was gonna pause the video right here and do that off screen okay I've added the appropriate amount of spaces took me quite a while but uh, now let's run our application and now as you can see it's pretty much lined up now if you uh, click on a text field you can see that you're adding the text from left to right we actually want to add the text from right to left so we need to fix that the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna set the horizontal alignment of our text fields to uh, to the right so J text field ISBN dot set horizontal alignment and J text field dot right so now when we enter the text it's gonna start from the right and we're gonna do that for all of them again let's copy and paste the title copy and paste for the author copy and paste for the price copy and paste for the file and now if we were in our application whenever you enter the text it's gonna start from the left we also see that uh, if we run our application again we see that everything is too close together this button is too close to this button this label is too close to this label over here so we're gonna add some spaces and since we're using box this gives us the opportunity to use uh, horizontal struts and vertical struts and what struts are are just invisible spaces it's something like this these are struts uh, basically yeah they're just invisible spaces and the way you do that is you go on here so uh, 